Sawadee Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza and it's Wednesday, December 13th. Let's start with our top story. Phuket Governor Norapa Plotong today unleashed an angry tirade at officials for a slew of problems starting with the lifeguard crisis and into the flood problems. It all happened at a meeting this morning at the governor's house and he became even angrier once he found out that the acting chief of the Phuket Provincial Administrative Organization, the PBAO, Wacharen Patom Watanapong, had not showed up, especially considering the recent lifeguard crisis at Phuket's beaches. The company that had been used for years to guard the island's beaches, they went on strike back on October 1st, and ever since then, much of the beaches have seen very few, if any, volunteer lifeguards patrol the sands, though even that has waned in recent weeks. The governor made the decision of stripping the PPAO of handling the lifeguard situation, giving that responsibility to the local municipalities with help from the Royal Thai Navy. In addition, the governor has ordered Patong officials to move forward with the 400 million baht contract that was signed two years ago to improve the flooding conditions near the Patong police station and more. For more on this, visit the PhuketNews.com. And following a slew of photos and videos being sent to the Phuket News of tourists riding elephants, livestock officials say the practice is okay and that no action will be taken against their handlers. According to Surajit Wichuan of the Phuket Provincial Livestock Office, he said, quote, There's nothing wrong with people riding the elephants as long as they are not too small for strenuous work, adding that they must be older than eight years old to be strong enough to carry people. In addition, Surajit told the Phuket News that they would take action against the elephant touts only if there are complaints about things like feces dropped on the beach or if there's torture or other disturbances. The elephants are protected by law if they are from the wild, but not if the elephants have been raised by humans and are registered. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. And three people are now behind bars after they allegedly conned a woman out of more than 3 million baht during a gambling game. Police say that the two Thai men and one woman were arrested yesterday at a resort near the Phuket airport who were allegedly part of a four-person gang and the last member did evade capture. The gang allegedly swindled the victim out of 3.1 million baht after loaning it to them in a gambling game called Fantan. Police say there are about 100 gangs performing similar operations across the nation and are warning potential victims not to easily believe the swindle. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. And stay right there, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. An accident in Pattaya in which two people died, it's prompting officials to finally overhaul the driving tests all to improve road safety nationwide. Starting next year, the testing will not only be fully electronic, complete with a finger scanning system to authenticate the identity of drivers who take the exam. In addition, medical issues of potential drivers will also be scrutinized as doctors who deem some people unfit to drive because of brain or heart problems, they will be disqualified from testing. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. And if you live near unpolluted skies, be sure to check out the annual Gemini meteor shower, which reports say will be at its peak tomorrow night, Thursday, December 14th. According to the National Astronomical Research Institute of Thailand, Narit, the spectacle should be visible nationwide, though it's obviously better seen in a place with clear, unpolluted skies. Meteors should be visible streaming across the sky starting at about 8.30 p.m. on Thursday, though if you live near one of the four Narit observatories in Chiang Mai, Cha Chong Sao, Song Kla, and Nakhon Ratchasima, you can check it all out free of charge. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube or PhuketNews.com, you can check out all these stories on the links below. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Buenos dias. Ninhao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. สวัสดีครับ. We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.